What is up, Mini? What is up, bike? It's been a while. Hi guys, this is City Bob, and today we're going to be talking about this little wireless controller, which is a wireless controller for my music, and it's in perfect reach. So we've got to go to the pet store to pick up some stuff for Bob. We'll talk about that, but let's get out of there. Let's go for a ride, and let me talk about this little Bluetooth controller. Oh. in here oh, I do love that new exhaust it's been on for a while <laughs> even my voice is squeaking trying to talk over it it's been on for a while now but I still can't get enough of it <laughs> sounds awesome let's get out of here so I've got this new little remote and I haven't actually used it yet so yeah man, what you doing? <laughs> it's been a while since I rode. Oh, what a noob. Oh, let's stop pissing around, let's get out of here, come on. All right, now we've navigated the car park. <laughs> let's get out of here. Jesus, look at all this dirt and mess. Always blows in. I think what we'll do, we'll pull over and queue up some music. Let's use some of the free music, shall we? Because I think that's our only option. So if we check in Bluetooth, I've already connected it. It's really simple. As soon as it's out the box, go to Bluetooth and it says Jet On Remote. So we're already connected. It's so simple to connect up. And as simple as this, play. And it's playing. Great place to stop. What a so today we're going to be talking about this Bluetooth controller for music. It's a great product. I think it's in a great position to be able to get to, but I have reservations because it's out there a bit in the elements. And the reservation I have for this is it's not designed for motorbikes. It's designed for a car, i.e., it's not waterproof. So the moment it gets rain on it it's probably going to stop working so that's my only concern about having it here however it's only 14 pounds if it does break it's not really the end of the world i could just purchase another one uh, for not very much money let's sneak through here thank you Let's have a look to see how it works shall we so we've been very easy reach we've got play that works and on the same button we've got pause so very easily together so you do need to be a little bit careful when pressing the buttons you can't actually feel them through the tip of my glove at least I can with these gloves you can feel the play button which is raised and then very easily you can feel where the other buttons are which is obviously a good thing So I have concerns with this unit 
with regards to it being waterproof it's designed and it's sold as a steering wheel remote so the position I've got it in at the moment is the fantastic position it actually comes with two mounts one is just a 3M sticky strip which I'm using to stick it to this blank kind of area I had which is perfect position but the other one is a handlebar clip which can be used to go here which will get into interference with your, where your hand is or it could go if you've got better bars on your bars for me the ST has weird shaped bars and there's not much real estate in terms of round bar for mounting things so I went for mounting it here however uh, there is someone else who has the same bike as me and they've mounted it where I've got this ball mount however they said that it's actually a bit far out of reach from their thumbs so I actually prefer where I've got it mounted even though I have concerns over it being out in the elements and not being waterproof so it's a very inexpensive unit at around £14 I have no affiliation with them I'll throw a link up in the description so if you want to purchase it go ahead and do so like I said I have no affiliation at all but I need a player for Amazon I did apply to be an Amazon affiliate, but unfortunately Amazon declined my request. So let's go through the control, shall we? So we've already discussed play. Very simple to control volume up and down. You can feel from the play button. And as you can see, I'm still gripping the bars and my thumb, sorry, my forefinger can very easily reach. Or indeed I can use my thumb. And I don't feel there's much loss in control of the bike when I'm doing so. When I'm moving those fingers, I feel like I'm perfectly gripped onto the handlebars. So all in all, it's a great unit, something I would highly recommend. This is the first time out riding using it, but so far so good. The funny thing is with this, it's the, ch it's the cheapest electronic thing I've bought in a long time. And it works straight out of the box, no faffing around, no issues or connectivity problems or battery problems like you have with all of the other expensive products that you purchase cardo gopro mainly talking to you guys the products never work straight out of the tin well not as they should anyway this 14 pounds works as it should does what it says it does on the tin gopro cardo take note 14 pounds and it works as it should Slip down here. I can't remember the battery life that they state, but I'll put that up in the top right hand corner. And I think it takes a 2032 watch battery. So the UK is going back into lockdown on Thursday. Today is Sunday. This week's actually my birthday, so sucks that I'm really not going to get much time to ride. But I've got between now and Thursday to ride, obviously observing social distances and to be honest, I just want to get out and ride and keep myself to myself. I don't really want to be around anyone anyway with the virus and the pandemic. So I'm just going to go out and do some rides during the week before Thursday. Okay, that's an interesting, it's not exactly in the 18 van is it? <laughs> some people are. Alright. Da, 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 da. I think we're okay. Oh. I love these car parks, go watch yourself. I'm going in here. Here we are at Pets at Home. So, any of you that have watched my previous videos, you know that Bob is actually my French Bulldog. And the little nutter, somehow, has managed to lose his name tag. And obviously it's illegal to take your dog out for walks without your name tag. So I'm going to pop in here and I'm going to get a new name tag printed because when Thursday hits and lockdown is, all the shops I think will probably be closing. So that means I need to get his name tag now before Thursday because after Thursday I assume I won't be able to get one made. So I'll probably get a couple made. I had no idea how he lost it but he did. Little nutter. He has this thing where he 
likes to rub his scratch his back on benches underneath him and I keep finding that either his his lead clip or I think his name badge clip at that particular time as he's scratching under the head he actually manages to catch the latch which holds them on so he drops them that way he's gotten off his lead three or four times from rubbing his back underneath the chairs luckily he is quite well behaved and he never runs far because actually once i was sitting having lunch he got himself off his lead and sat there next to me laughing he's genuinely sitting there laughing in the way he does check out the other videos of bob laughing it's a genuine laugh <laughs> you can't mistake it he's just sitting there laughing knowing he's gotten off his lead not going anywhere he is a bit of a bell end at times, but hey, he didn't run off, he just sat there laughing at me. Anyway, that's Bob for you. So, as I said, lockdown, we go back into lockdown from Thursday. So, I'm here today getting Bob's a few things for Bob, including his new tags. Going to try and get out a little bit this week. Towards the end of the week, I've got another volunteering run to do. We still need to get this donated PPE equipment all over the country and it quite clearly stated in the pm speech that you're still allowed to go out to do volunteering runs so that's great i can still go out and i can still deliver the ppe to get it to where it needs to be so at least i can still ride at times as well as doing something great which you know is a positive thing win-win really but back into lockdown i must admit it's not something i'm looking forward to yeah if it needs to be done it needs to be done but I suffered, you know, got a small flat and I suffered quite a bit last time and I don't know, obviously it's a worry, just being alone all your time and never getting out and I suppose at least I've got Bob and I can take Bob for walks, but anyway, I digress, let's get in there, let's get this name tag printed and then I'll get back off home, but so far so good, we have this Bluetooth controller which is performing as should it's in perfect reach exactly where i need it to be and i can't speak highly enough of it for 14 pounds <laughs> it's just perfect all right i won't bother with my lock but i'll put a steering lock on just to delay people because i'm only going to be right inside the door doing this so if anyone tries to tamper with a bike i can come out quite quickly and smack them with my helmet I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye. Alrighty, that's pets at home. I've got Bob's tags. I've got some treats for him. He loves his treats. Let's move this next scarf off my mouth so I can talk. I've actually, I'm not sure if you can see in the mirror, I've got this foldable small bag which I keep under the seats, which I'm glad I did because I bought too much. Also bought Bob a new hoodie which I'll put on him and I'll put in a picture in the top right hand corner. I think it might be a bit big for him, but everything else is always too small. This guy's looking at me, so let's get going. All right, switch ignition on would help. I've got this bag which I keep under the seat, which I'm glad I have because I brought this out with me, which is quite good get a few things in it however I bought too much for it <laughs> and I had stuff stuffed in inside my jacket which is a great tip if you need it however when I got to the bike I remembered I had this collapsible bag under the seat which I'm using now which I am happy because I've put on a lot of weight and putting stuff in my jacket makes my jacket even tighter and when you bend it over <laughs> it's not very comfortable and I don't want to pop the zip on my jacket and end up with all my new purchases for Bob scattered down the road. I don't think we're going to go down there. I think we'll pop down this bit, shall we? Do, 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 do. All right. I no, just wait here. That's going to go green. of our to-do lists today we've got some bits and pieces for Bob we've got his tags printed we've got our and we've recorded a few clips on this music controller 
And to be honest, there's not much I can say about it. It's kind of one of those things that does what it does. Um, it works really well and it works as it should or out the box. I love those front facing cameras. Smile and wave boys. Just smile and wave boys. Smile and wave. No front plates in the UK so see ya. I've got some music queued up to try out this music controller again. Let's press play. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine. So I can control volume up and down without even looking. I don't need to look. I can scroll forwards the truck as well. And I can scroll back quite easily. So it works exactly as it should. Great product. Hopefully it won't get too messed up in the rain. If it does, £14 I'll buy another. But I might have to look at either waterproof in the unit which will be tough because once you've waterproofed it obviously it's harder to change the battery or I might have to move it somewhere maybe here but for now I'm going to get these bits and pieces back home give Bob a few treats take them out for a walk link to the product is in the description oh. Oh, I can't go into lockdown and not be able to ride. This is gonna hurt so bad. It's gonna be so difficult to be off the bike. I ride for my mental health. It keeps me sane. And it really does keep me grounded and keeps the depression at bay too. Do 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 do. Alright guys, this is City Bob. I do weekly motor vlog news as well as go out and ride my own bike. Once lockdown is finally over and done with, and the pan once the pandemic is finally over and done with, I will be travelling for business. And what I plan on doing is riding higher bikes when I travel. So watch out for that. Alright guys. Hello Mini, that's City Bob, please hit that like, oh, ooh, I can hear now, oh dear that's crazy, alright guys do us a huge huge favour, tell me what you think of the product, but hit me up in the YouTube comments. So the way this controller works is it connects to your phone by Bluetooth. There's no on off button on the actual controller so it's pretty much running all the time. An on off switch would have been useful I think for this product just so you can switch off to save the battery or if you didn't want the controller to be controlling your phone you could just switch it off. But ultimately £14 I'm not really bothered about it. That's the only thing I think I would have liked to have seen on this product is an on off switch. Other than that works perfectly fine as is and I'm really happy with it ride safe and try and brave that lockdown i'm with you i feel your pain but try and keep your chin up we're all in this together see ya from the tile and i'm hating the slack couple miles run around like the hate in the gaff please stop talking that trash because the vibes and the fun all the way to the back